Another uh, favourite one is a double nunchaku. Basic principle is a figure eight twirl done with both, both hands at the same time. The way I practice is I get a general flow up and I always go in, in first and I try to get that same rhythm. I don't do it for long periods of times because I get out of rhythm. So I always, shorter time frame, the faster the speed I can go. So just nice, slowly. Nice. Nice and slow. And then what you can add to it, gets us said with the introduction of the ball bearings, even, even uh, string ones, we can um, do the crossover. Again, timing is critical, and then crossover. So what we need to do is focus on the outside movement, and as the nunchaku is going down, we then come over. You can do this walking forward, walking back. And then finish off with a variety of different applications. But again, just simple, just practice going up, timing, get your double happening first. Inwards, going down, upwards. And then we do the crossover. Up. Good. As I spoke before, different positions for different applications. For this application, we're going to have the nunchaku go behind our hand and catch the other end. So we're going to make the nunchaku roll over our wrist. So holding in the bottom, palm of your hand, palm of your hand away, and nunchuck you coming forward and catching the other end. Just throwing it forward, nice gradual movement. Good, and again. Yep, and once more. All right. Okay, for this, this hand changeover, we're going to practice going forward and backwards. Going over your wrist one way, and then back over your wrist the other way. Okay, Lucy. People with bigger hands obviously find it a little bit more difficult. People with little, little wrists, you find the nunchuck here, they can catch it several times. So just go. All right, very good. Now we got a little training sequence to that. We're going to twirl it, bring it back, twirl it, bring it back, twirl it, bring it back, twirl it, bring it back. So this is all we're doing. It's just going over the back of our hand, forward, dropping our wrist down, outside twirl, back over, catch, outside twirl again, and catch. Under. Over. Under. See how she's using her hip now and she's getting that action going from the body. She's working from the ground up. Get a couple of twirls going. Nice fluent action and then... Very good. Just our forward twirl going down. Just going to flick it out of the back. Oh yeah. We're just doing a figure eight, normal figure eight. Just before we start again, for this one we need to be holding it close to the, uh, to the chain, the ball, ball bearing, and we'll just start with a normal figure eight and then we'll add an extra twirl into it. So Lucy's always going to have her elbow nice and, uh, nice and relaxed, her wrist relaxed, and then she does an extra twirl behind. As she does that twirl, she's got to bring her wrist forward and pop her elbow out in front. Right here, just relax. Just facing that way. You watch the elbow come forward now as she does it. Good. 
We need to keep it nice, relaxed, keep your bottom fingers open so we get a nice fluent action. Oh yeah, very good. Left hand. Again, a little bit of hip movement, gets that action happening there, forward and back. Very good. Two doubles, and as one goes forward, this time one's gonna go back. So one forward, one back. Head up, keep your head up, look forward, and try and get more hip rotation. That's it, good. Very good. Yeah, mate.